Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about quartz. So now let's get straight to it. Quartz is one of the most abundant minerals on earth. It belongs to the group of tectosilicate minerals, which means it is composed of silica tetrahedra linked together in a three-dimensional framework. The name quartz comes from the old High German word quartz, meaning hard. It has also been said to derive from the ancient Greek word kristallos, meaning ice, due to its transparent appearance. Did you know that quartz has been known for a long time throughout history? Ancient civilizations such as Roman, Egyptian, and Greek used quartz crystals as potent talismans. Native American tribes and Australian Aboriginal people believed quartz had mystical and spiritual significance and used it in various rituals. Quartz is the most common form of crystalline silica. As the second most abundant mineral in the Earth's continental crust, quartz makes up about 12% of the crust's volume. In nature, quartz is widely found in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks like granite, quartzite, and sandstone. It also occurs in hydrothermal veins, alluvial deposits, beach sand, and volcanic environments. The world's largest quartz cluster was discovered in 1985 at the bottom of a 45-meter deep cave in the Achua mine near Karabid, Namibia. It weighs 14,100 kilograms and took three years to excavate and remove. In some desert regions, large fields of sand dunes, which compassed mainly of quartz grains are found. They have a unique white or pale color appearance. When lightning strikes sandy ground, it can fuse sand particles into long, hollow glass tubes known as fulgurites, a form of quartz. The inner often retains the shape of the lightning's path and may exhibit intricate patterns and textures. Quartz has a hexagonal crystal structure. The crystals can be either long and slender or short and stubby, depending on the conditions in which they formed. Phantom quartz is a variety of quartz consisting of visible layers of overlapping crystal growths. The interior ghost-like images of crystal layers are known as phantoms. Pure quartz is colorless and transparent, but it can come in a wide range of colors due to impurities during formation. For instance, amethyst is purple, rose quartz is pink, and citrine is yellow-orange. Did you know that mystic quartz is an enhanced clear quartz that has been treated? It has a special coating, giving it a unique rainbow-colored effect. Quartz has a hardness of 7 on the Mohs scale, making it relatively hard and durable, which contributes to its widespread use in various applications. Quartz exhibits piezoelectric properties, meaning it can generate electric charge when subjected to mechanical stress. It makes it invaluable in electronic devices such as oscillators, watches, and various sensors. Quartz has excellent stability and electrical insulating properties. They are highly rated in electronic and high-voltage applications. High-purity quartz is used to produce quartz glass. They can withstand high temperatures and are used in the manufacturing of lighting systems, refractory materials, and chemical apparatuses. Other than its industrial uses, quartz is associated with emotional healing. Tibetan quartz is of stunning clarity and usually contains black inclusions. It is said to contain the wisdom and esoteric knowledge of ancient Tibet. Lithium quartz contains traces of lithium within its crystal structure. Some believe it has calming and stress-relieving properties due to the presence of lithium. Furthermore, quartz can be carved into intricate sculptures and decorative items. The details showcase the creativity and skill of the artists. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.